of Masito Parliament, the majority leader Seche Mensa Bonsa says the controversial E Levy will not longer will no longer be withdrawn next week as advertised earlier. The Swami MP had indicated to the House that the Finance Minister will from next week Tuesday withdraw the bill and table before the House a revised bill for consideration. But Mr. Seche Mensa Bonsa says the minister has served notice of his inability to do so next week. This was captured in the business statement for next week. Kwesi Paka Wilson is our man in parliament. He joins us now for more. Uh, Paka, what's the business captured on the other paper for today? So, Aisha, uh, this is the business statement for next week. And it is clear that the finance minister is not ready or will not be ready to present before the House the e-levy bill or a revised one for consideration. Now, the explanation that has been given is that he is not ready. Uh, as to why he's not ready, we don't know yet. But we know that a new date will be communicated to the House. And this has raised a number of concerns among the minority caucus in Parliament over the uncertainties of the controversial E-Levy bill, which will be debated and subsequently voted upon. I have with me the former Deputy Roads Minister here, uh, briefly, Isaac Ejemey, sir. He's also the Wasa East MP. Uh, Honourable, uh, a quick one. A new date, we are told, will be communicated to you on when uh, the House will debate the E-Levy. What do you make of this, sir? So I think the, the uncertainty is, very, is, is much more heightened by the fact that we don't even know when it's going to happen. And the indication is given that in the next week it's not going to happen, and we don't even know when that is going to happen. But you see, it is also you know, critical to note that yesterday's massive demonstration against the E-Levy probably might inform the minister that he's not available next week. But you see, we are all put in suspense. Well, what, what, why do you think that the demonstration may have influenced the minister's inability to pro, uh, pro, uh, uh, the present the bill next week? The understanding was that something was going to happen next week. And for us to be told that next week nothing is going to happen because the minister is not available, he's not ready, tells you that something is happening. We are aware of the various engagement, regional engagement and Zoom that has not been going on well. And for yesterday's massive demonstration against, you know, the E-Levy, and for the minister to, you know, to come in to say he's not available, he's not ready next week, tells you that something is wrong. The most important thing for the minister to do is to withdraw it and just kaput it and get it off because people, Ghanaians, are dissatisfied with the whole issue of e-levy. And finally, for me, we know, and there's a confirmation that the revised bill, I, we don't know when it's going to come to parliament, but when it's presented before the House, will be 1.5% and not 1.75%. Will the NDC soften its stance as far as the new rate is concerned? No, the opposition has been no, zero. And you see, even from the scratch where people thought that it was, the minister was going to revise his position, he did not. Now, following the various engagements, you got to know that indeed the 1.75 is untenable. And therefore, if he is coming in 1.75, our, our position is and will always be zero and zero and zero. So we are waiting for the bill to be brought in for us to vote on them. No mess are critical. And so we are ready, the 137 NDC, we are ready to vote against the E levy. So it's, it's the abandoned. Right. Sure. Thank you very much, um, Honorable uh, AJ, uh, Isaac J. Mesa. He is the former uh, Deputy Road Minister, and he's saying that the E levy indeed is the burden of the government. And so uh, right now, we don't know when it is coming, but the NDC is certain that whether 1.5 or 1 percent, they will still resist the E levy and vote against the E levy. But today, we know that a few ministers have been scheduled to appear before the House uh, for, to answer some questions. And again, from next week, we know that the Minister for Communications, the Minister for Roads and Highways, Minister for Health, Minister for Local Government, uh, Decentralization and Rural Development, Minister for Sanitation and Water uh, Resources uh, will be summoned before the House to answer some critical questions for members of Parliament. Parker Wilson is our man in Parliament.